marketing leads shouldn't lead to a dead end. If you are someone who has always wanted to release music of your own, but you are completely overwhelmed at the prospect because of all the things you have to do and create and set up and all that that entails, then this video is for you. I'm going to give you a simple step-by-step -step order of all the things that you might want to think about to release music of your own as an independent artist. So grab your pen and paper because you're going to want to write some stuff down. The first thing I like to do is reserve the email address for the artist's name I want to create. So go to Google and reserve your super dope awesome artist's name at gmail.com. After that, go to Google Domains and reserve your super dope awesome artist's name.com. Now that you have those two things, you can use them to create all of the social profiles that you want to use as an artist as well. So you want to reserve at your super dope awesome artist name on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all the stuff where you think you might potentially want to create content as an artist. Ultimately, you may not use some of these, but it's better to have them in the front and not need them rather than want to have them later and not have them. Now, once you've got your email address, your website URL, and all your social handles, you're going to want to do two things. Take a good profile picture and write a compelling bio. Now, this doesn't have to be complicated. You can take a good picture on your phone, and you can write a good bio that's very short. Just talk about who you are, what kind of music you make, and say something like, listen to my music now. After you've done that, you can apply this photo and this bio to all of your social profiles, and you can get set up with a simple artist website. My favorite tool for this is hard and apply those settings to that as well. Okay, so now you've created your entire brand online. It's time to actually schedule and release your music. So you're going to want to go through a distributor or something like DistroKid. If you want first access to most features that get rolled out to this type of thing. If you're budget conscious, you can use Amuse. They have a free tier. Other notable distributors are places like TuneCore, Ditto, and United Masters, all of which are worth looking at. Now, once you've uploaded your music, scheduled it for release, and it's actually come out, now you want to get access to all the things that are going to let you analyze your data as an artist. Now, this is stuff like Spotify for artists, Apple Music for artists, Amazon for artists, Deezer Backstage. You have to have music that's actually out on DSPs to get access to this stuff. So you want to upload your music through your distributor, push it out to Spotify, Apple Music, everything else. And then once it's actually out on those services, you can claim the back end as the artist that you are, and then you get access to your fan base, what they're listening to, which songs in your catalog, how much they're listening, how many streams you're getting, what countries they're from, all this really granular data that you're going to want to understand as you move forward in your career so that you can further identify who your fan base really is. Okay, so now that we've sort of claimed all the different areas that you want to claim as an artist online, it's time to go back and sort of fill in some of the clerical gaps. Now, this is the part, I will tell you in advance, that is kind of the most complicated when it comes to being an independent artist. And this is where we register for a PRO, which is your performing rights organization. This is something like ASCAP or BMI. This is where you upload your lyrics to something like Music's Match, where your lyrics can appear on all the social media platforms alongside your music. You can you can also choose to register with things like Sound Exchange and Song Trust, both of which are organizations that will help you to get paid every time your music is streamed in specific places or used in specific instances. Now, there's a lot going on here, and the setup process for each, I will tell you, is complicated depending on which platform you choose, but this is something that you are ultimately going to want to do. So once you have all the back end set up, you've got music out, now we get to the point where you need to start telling people the primary way to do this is through social media. Using social media is free. All it requires is your time. Now, fortunately, this doesn't take much these days. If you have a smartphone, odds are the camera on it is pretty good. You're probably going to want to invest in a light of some sort. I recommend just starting with a basic ring light. I use a nicer light than that, which I love. I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video if you want to check that one out. But any sort of light will do as long as 
is you can use it to make decent content for the internet. So once you've figured out how to make content to promote your music, now you have to upload that content. And you have to figure out not just how to make quality content in terms of a good picture or a good video, but you kind of have to learn how to play the game as well. So pick your platforms, whether it's Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, whatever you like and enjoy, kind of lean into your interests and figure out how to do that well on the platform of your choice. Obviously, my primary platform is YouTube. I love YouTube, which is why I create content here. I also like Instagram, so I lean into that. Those are kind of my two that I enjoy, which is why I make content there more than anywhere else. So figure out what works for you and do the same. Okay, so let's do a quick recap. You've got your whole brand set up, you've released music, and you're creating content to promote it. Well, now that you've got that attention rolling, it's time to start thinking about how to monetize it a little bit. And a great way to do that is with merch. So you can easily set up a merch store with something like Shopify's starter plan, or you can use something like Spring, both of which are great options, and they plug into all the social networks and will allow you to sell either your music or t-shirts or whatever directly on your profiles. And once you've got that merch portion set up, you're going to want to plug an email provider into that as well. That way, every person who buys something from you you can collect their email address, stay in touch with them, and let them know about future shows, future live streams, music coming out, new merch coming out, all the stuff that you want to inform your fan base about, especially those people who are hardcore enough to actually buy something from you. You definitely want to stay in touch with them. And that brings us to the last and final sort of point at the end of this. And that is figuring out how to market market your music and yourself as an artist on an ongoing basis. Now, my favorite way to do this is with Facebook ads. Now, this is no substitute for a good content strategy with organic content that you're posting on social media, but paid advertising can be a very, very long lever to use to boost yourself as an artist, especially if you don't have a ton of time to devote to content. My argument is you should always be posting content, even if you don't post a ton. Post something once a week, once a month, whatever. Ads can supplement that. So if you're short on time or if content's just not your thing, ads can really help you. Even if content is your thing, you can double down on that by using paid advertising. Okay, so that was a huge flyby. I know, and I'm sorry. But my hope is that if you don't know where to start, this will help you sort of get aligned and take things in order so that you can be methodical about setting up your brand and your business from square one. Now, if you found this video helpful and you want to see more content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button before you take off. And at the end here, if you want to see how I have used Facebook ads to market my music specifically, you can check out this video right here. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Design the perfect voice for your brand with Eleven Labs. Change the way you record podcasts, voiceovers, and branded content with the number one AI-powered voice generating technology. Stop searching for the perfect voice and stop wasting time re-recording take after take. Try Eleven Labs for free and start elevating your content today. You can batch create 30 days of music artist content in less than two hours. And I want to show you how on this episode coming up right after this intro. Join me in my mission to help put at least 50,000 music artists on the right track to be independently successful with their music to turn the talent that they have with their voice into gold. My name is Billy Nellis and welcome to the Golden Voice Podcast. Boom. Okay, so following a conversation that I had on one of the previous episodes where I talked about how to find your audience 
online, right? And by the way, if you haven't tuned into that episode yet, I highly recommend that you go in and catch up. Following after that, and of course, this is kind of, you know, a continuation of my, you know, music marketing to freedom framework, you know, the five keys to music freedom. And I'm at the part where you're going to have to produce some content to attract your audience to you to bring them uh, to your world and everything and that's absolutely important all right so no matter whether you like it or not okay I want you to put it in your head if you are making music and you want to eventually live off of it you have to know that it's a business that you're running all right and as a musician you are automatically a content creator and there's no way around that all right so like i was saying once you identify and find your audience online you're gonna have to create produce some content 